Good evening. My name is Emily and I have found this beautiful piece of fabric and I said I just have to make something with it. It's a um, sort of a netting or voil or however whatever they call this and it's got these beautiful flowers and and uh, brown uh, but anyway it didn't it didn't uh, it it didn't make a lot. Uh, it didn't end up being just a huge uh, amount of fabric. So, uh, but I said I was going to use part of it, and in this one side of the fabric, when it came, it had uh, this um, ruffle on it, and I just thought, oh my gosh, how nice this is going to look. So I have a uh, website, um, or Etsy, Etsy page, uh, called, um, or Etsy site, called uh, Yesterday Stash, and um, I have uh, happened to be a complete fool or anglophile for England and uh, I'm going there back again this summer um, <clears throat> and so I am making a series of, um, of books on on England or London um, based on the materials that I have been collecting for a long time and this is just an example of you know you can get these types of brochures and it, it's got just tons of different uh, pictures that I collect and look at based on the um, based on the, the, the castles or what it's used for. Here's one for Queen Victoria. I also subscribe to um, the Traveler uh, magazine and uh, Discover Britain and the English Home. And so I really get uh, in addition to the trips that I go on, I get a lot of ideas uh, for how to make books. So anyway, I've got so much stash and you know how it is after a certain point you realize, you know, you can only collect this stuff and look at it for so long and then you're going to end up just having to do something with it. So I took the fabric and I joined it with um, some of the different things uh, that I have. Uh, the name of the book is called Tudor Rose. And that's because Tudor, the Tudor Rose was uh, what uh, King Henry VIII had. He had all in his castles, he had all of the decorations and motifs had the Tudor Rose. And when he was so in love with Anne Boleyn, he had her um, A and um, H and A on, on all of it. And um, he, uh, when they, uh, when he, got got tired of her and got rid of her then he uh, ended up taking all the H and A off except there's one or two in various places it's kind of interesting but um, it's just I just love English history and I'm sure it's going to show throughout my uh, uh, through the throughout this uh, web uh, this video because it's just something that I'm pretty crazy about um, and just love this is a paper that I found that actually has a little bit of a plastic coat on it. And so I used that for uh, some of the outside. And on the back, I also have that, but then I put some Inca, not Inca gold, but um, some um, uh, brown uh, distressed, uh, distressing on it. And I also used this uh, Sargent acrylic glitter glaze which is just so pretty on, on this. And then I have some of this. And um, moving on here, uh, this is the second of a series that I'm, I'm working on with, uh, England, with using uh, pages and ideas from, Eng from my England. And I use this right here as um, an insert sort of uh, because it's just more of that fabric. Um, the book itself is, um, let's see, it's pr probably um, 57 pages. It's got 114, 57, 114. Um, it is eight by uh, like five and maybe five and a half. And um, <clears throat> I used um, pages just from lots of different places. This page here I just found on the website. Um, this page here comes from um, Tsunami Rose. 
I have over 20 different laces and trims because I have a huge collection of lace that came from the old home place. And um, I've used a variety of different plate papers. This also is from Tsunami Rose. And then just different paper from paper packs. Um, I, over 50 pages can be, um, can be uh, used as journal pages. Um, and then um, I kind of went and included little pockets of different streets or the names of places throughout England that I found in some of the magazines. And um, I did just a little bit of Franken uh, uh, with, with some wall, with a kind of a wallpaper. And then uh, I take um, magazine pictures or um, and make tags out of them. Um, I take uh, just, pit, well, yeah, more magazine pictures. I try to put a, a glaze on some of it. I really love that shiny, shiny look. Lot of, lots of machine um, stitching. This is a collage that I made of London that has a picture of the uh, crown that has, uh, I put an Inca gold on it, and this is two-sided. Uh, I also um, subscribe to this company called London Pop Box, and it's from Acquaintly, uh, UK org I think and I'm going to put that in the description box below but once a month I get my box and it has lots of different um, different little paraphernalia or small things um, that you can that I can use in these books um, this is a tiny I think I have I'll show you some that I have throughout this is Baker Street in the city of Westminster so just FYI these are this is Pill Piccadilly Circus and Oxford Street um, fountain pen, I mean, uh, ink pens. This is a travel card holder with um, Harry Potter. So there's just all kinds of things. I just uh, really enjoy this London Pop Box. Um, I have stopped subscribing to it because I, I just had been doing it too long and needed to, 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 uh, to, to stop. But this is washi tape that came from that London Pop Box. So I'll show you some other places throughout the book where there will be um, some, um, some examples. This is some vellum. Um, this is just random paper for, for um, journaling on. Um, this is one of the things I really find interesting is how England has lots of different societies or organizations or historical associations that take because England has so many old castles and old buildings and old homes um, and lots of, for instance, William Wordsworth or John Keats or um, uh, Carl Jung, all, uh, for Sigmund Freud, all of these people that had homes there, they have preserved them and turned them into um, just different things, uh, bed and breakfasts, uh, museums, um, hotels, uh, um, you know, spaces for people to go and, uh, and um, uh, enjoy the gardens, uh, horseback riding, it's just all kinds of things. Here's an example of one that I found. It is called Stonefield Castle Hotel, and it has 32 bedrooms, and it's a classic example of an elegant castle. It was constructed in 1837 as the home of the Campbell family. And take, uh, so I just have, one of the things that I have really found is to cut out pages or pictures of some of the castles that uh, the, they have restored and, uh, and let, some of them, you know, didn't get that restoration. Um, and, you know, they are, they, they have fallen down and are in, you know, just basically columns uh, hanging, you know, but just knowing the history uh, of them. Um, this is a couple of tags. This is from a book of English wildflowers. This is something that came from um, the London Pop Box was a set of these pins. Um, and this one is a picture of, um, of, a, of a teapot. Uh, gardens are big in England, so tea and and so this is called the English Garden, captured the era with special headpieces, so forth and so on. And so that's just a pretty picture out of a magazine that I saw that I 
turned into a um, uh, turned into a tag. This is an example of some of the um, lace that I have uh, you know, found or collected, or that came from my parents, uh, from my great aunt's old home place when she shut it down. Um, I have these. This is three signatures, and so in the middle of each, I have put something different in it. I also have a huge collection of postcards uh, from uh, different um, in, in, English uh, buildings. This particular one is St. Paul's Cathedral, and this one is Westminster Abbey. So, uh, and I put a paper clip to keep them together. Little pockets so that uh, you know you could pull these things out and use these pockets for something else. Um, this is an interesting um, piece of wallpaper and another one of those pictures that shows how on the side of um, buildings that in these small towns in England they put um, the, the different streets and which way to go. Here's another one of those crowns. This is an older uh, postcard that actually has writing on it and it is hmm, New York maybe? I'm not quite sure. Can't tell where that comes from. Uh, this is interesting. I found this. Uh, no, not that one. Let's see. This is something else that came in that London Pop Boxes. Uh, and I stuck some uh, stamps in here so you can take this undone and go in and there's some stamps, old stamps from uh, of Queen Elizabeth in time gone by. This is, um, let's see, watercolor, it doesn't say what it is, clock and clock tower, Caesars in Warwick Castle. So it's in Warwick, Warwick Castle. Um, I have a bunch of these that I thought I would share. They're book plates um, that I think anybody could enjoy or you could actually turn it over and, and have a, uh, make it into a tag. Horseback riding is big, so I've got that. Here's a little uh, dish that has a picture of Queen Elizabeth. Here's a, um, the, the George Hotel is uh, one of the hotels that's in one of the, probably more than one George Hotel in, um, in uh, England total. Um, this is from uh, Tsunami Rose, uh, her Jane Austen collection. Uh, these are just some pieces of paper that can be used for tags. I just thought this was the prettiest picture. I believe that this came from Tsunami Rose too. And it just is this old rough uh, country with a lot of wooden boxes. I just had to, to save it. Uh, I also have uh, from a book that I pulled out pictures, I mean, descriptions or something about the history. This is of Mary Stewart, who lived from 1542 to 1587, and it's a short history about her. Um, some of these pages I have doubled because I want all the pages to be sturdy. Um, I have a, also a collection of when we were in London and we were riding um, on the, uh, um, down in the, um, well, I can't say what it is right now, but anyway, they had, uh, London is open for the summer, and they had a brochure that had a bunch of poems in it from different London authors, and so I put that in here. I've labeled it and put it in a pretty envelope, which can be used for something else if you choose. Um, and here's another picture of Wordsworth Street, and that's probably... Uh, William Wordsworth, he lived uh, in more towards the northern part. This is something that came from the London Pop Box that I have included in there. Uh, I have a couple of pictures. Here's one of Warwick pa Castle that has been, that has a, is a, it's nice and sturdy, can be used as a tag. Uh, more of the picture of the, um, this is the, the actual, uh, Washi tape ha is buildings in England, uh, or in London actually, uh, all across here. So it's really interesting to, to look at it. Here's another um, 
This is actually from Artie Mays. Um, I just love this, uh, some of the, the uh, papers that she has. I uh, also found a book on um, English country churches, and here's one that I uh, cut out, and it's, it's a Norman church in Shrop Shropshire uh, in England, um, and so I stuck that in here, put that in here. You can take this out and use it for something else. This is actually a, a picture of um, the arch that goes into, no, I've got it uh, glued. It goes into um, Charing Cross. It's just an old picture that I found in a book of, of you know, just some of the structure or some of the architecture I find the architecture of uh, England's buildings to just be fascinating as well. And, of course, many generations have passed since they first started making, you know, building. And um, this is a, a saying, mind the gap, that is uh, used uh, when you get on the L um, in London. Um, this is a bookmark and another picture of the buildings. Um, and the names of the buildings are the inn. This is called the Village Shop. Um, this, is, this is actually a piece of a card or a stationery that you can put, uh, if you open it up, it makes a little, let's see what it says here. Princes in horse-drawn, rose-decorated carriage, greeting card and envelope. Pull rear wheels back to front wheels and card will stand. So I just stuck that in there. Some more lace. This is another um, center um, using uh, Mind the Gap and the flag of Great Britain. This is the Dor Dor Dorchester, Dorchester in Oxfordshire, a, a hotel building and an old carriage. Um, more uh, paper for journaling. More of my lace. Uh, this is uh, another tea room. This is, I also, this is just an example of how I take these buildings. And uh, this is Acton Burnell Ca Castle. It's interesting to see how it came about when it was built and what it is used now for. Um, and actually the Burnells, uh, I think the, this castle, um, they still, uh, they still, the family still owns it. some of the family. Um, This is some more postcards. Uh, this one is from, um, in, it just says it's a watercolor, Chapel Entrance, Warwick Castle. And this doesn't tell me what it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wadham Co College in uh, Oxford. Um, and uh, this is just some more inserts. And, um, uh, these are a couple of quotes from English um, uh, English literature people. This is a picture of the um, crown jewel, which is in um, the Tower of London. And then this is the coronation of Elizabeth II. Um, this is another example of where I've taken articles or papers from old magazines and have included either pictures or poems or um, just different uh, readings. You can read it, you can cut it up, you can take the pictures and use them for something. But uh, I just have a lot of old magazines that uh, were like even as far back as the late 1800s that I like to use um, in the books. And so I've taken and I put it in an envelope and stuck it in here. I have just a number of these library cards, which are um, just really interesting. We have lots of libraries here in this area. And um, uh, so this is a, um, a bunch that I picked up. Another street that has the name of the building on it. Um, this is where I took some uh, wallpaper from um, Tim Holtz. 
and I took some of the paper and I just like did little collages and things on them um, find them to just be fun this is a landscape of England uh, whenever you see say if you were to search English landscapes you would get pictures of uh, the rolling hills and so forth and so on uh, more journaling pages um, this is another interesting thing that I came across. It's called Nine London Hotels, a total of 2,500 rooms, central heated with hot and cold water. And it just shows a map of London. And I'm not quite sure when this was published, but um, can't tell, but it, um, probably, well, I wouldn't even begin to guess when this was published, but it's just an old, um, um, I, I have collected over the years different um, travel materials from different people. Um, another, uh, this is just a uh, card. Um, this is an article um, written in one of the magazines. This one is the Furry Day Dance. And it, it actually is a dance that is, um, uh, held in Cornwall. I don't know how if they still hold it or if it's held. Uh, this is some more paint, some more of the flowers from that interesting piece of fabric, um, and just it's just a tag that I made out of cardboard. Um, another uh, building here that has the name or the street signs on it. Uh, included in each book, uh, I have. Um, Lots of little extra things that I throw in uh, into the box. Uh, and the, this is when I was in London. I went to Foyle's bookstore and uh, picked up several what I thought were interesting postcards and have uh, changed them uh, into... Um, this is just another article about uh, one of the famous people in England. This is the backside of that coronation. This is an envelope that I glued onto the very last page, and it has um, pictures, a, a deck of cards that I have uh, pictures of uh, Shakespeare and uh, Charles Dickens that you can take. The, the, the front of it's really pretty. You can actually take this and do something with it. And this is one of those envelopes that I really enjoy making that... Uh, Patricia Veramonti on um, Etsy uh, has interesting videos about. So um, that concludes. This is the book called Tudor Rose. Again, it will be for sale in my uh, Etsy store. Uh, I am um, excited uh, to be able to use some of these materials. Uh, I find it to be just real stimulating to come up with different ways to make a book uh, have an interesting theme to it um, and using different pieces of my stash. Again, my store is yesterday's stash and I appreciate your coming along this journey and uh, with me um, as I uh, continue to use my materials to create uh, a variety of different books. So thank you for coming along.